Well, it's only appropriate that National Bacon Day happens to be a day of goodbyes here around Central Texas News Now. As I'm sure you've noticed, it's been a series of substitute anchors and meteorologists over the holidays here, including our own Patrick Dennis. I first saw Patrick Dennis on television in a year that I won't mention because it'll make him feel old. But it was a long time ago in my home market in the Arklatex. Well, since that we had a need after Kylie Caps left us to go to Fox 4 in Dallas, we needed a weekend meteorologist. And Patrick happened to be available. Well, I'm sad to say it is Patrick's last day here at Central Texas News now. It was a temporary assignment, so he returns back to the Arklatex. But for now, we wish him well. So with that adieu, let's get a check of your forecast with meteorologist Patrick Dennis. Now I have to follow that <laughs> up there with it. But I had no idea you were about to say all of that there. Anyway, great and I appreciate it. I've loved my time here in Central Texas as well and in Waco. Looking for you outside right now. You're able to see for yourself and your extra coat eagle eye this morning. And you're seeing some cloudy skies across the area and rainfall. That's appropriate enough here on my last day seeing rainfall in the region. Uh, but yeah, rain is here. Temperature readings for you checking in in the 30s, 37 degrees for you in Gatesville, 39 degrees in Waco, 38 degrees for you in Cameron. Temperature forecast for today shows those numbers warming upwards, not by much in the 40s. It is going to be a chilly day for us across the area. We will continue with those cold temperature readings for today. Seeing rainfall move back on up into the area and we're going to end up seeing some rain rain as well all across well, I should say majority of Central Texas as we go through the daytime for today and increasing during the overnight hours for tonight. As far as future tracks showing us, we are looking at some showers today. Yes, maybe a few rumbles of thunder and rainfall looks like it'll be increasing during the overnight hours for tonight. So be prepared and be aware of that as well. Yes, there has been talk about and there is an opportunity for some wintry precept for you once you make your way on towards your Wednesday of this upcoming week. We will be looking at that as well to see how that's going to be developing for you. Make sure you have downloaded your First Alert Central Texas weather app. You will know to you will make sure you want to stay up to date on the very latest there once you get to Wednesday. I'm just happy to leave in the hands of Matt and the crew here to dealing with the snow forecast on Wednesday. It has been a pleasure working with you these last few weeks. Of course, if you hadn't figured out, I'm a substitute as well. You probably got gathered that by now. Hunter Davis will be back next weekend and uh, Vince Erickson and Andrea Morgan on Monday for Good Morning Texas. So for now, thanks for watching Good Morning Texas Weekend Edition on air and streaming live on the News 25 mobile app. Dennis Turner and company will be back here this evening for Central Texas News Now. It is National Bacon Day, as we mentioned, and oh, could we make a list of the bacon. So we'll leave you with highlights of that on Good Morning Texas in the Weekend Edition. We hope you have a great Sunday and Happy New Year.